let me start so here is the first trick of serial number issue so normally when you do something like this one and two and when you drag it down you get a serial number but in future if you are deleting any of the row what will happen so let's say if i delete these two rows and i selected the row and i say control minus you see what will happen both row got deleted but here there is an issue with the serial number so there are many methods which people normally do some people say we put equal this plus one this is another method and then you drag now again in this method if i come over and say control minus to delete it will be a big problem of referencing so all these methods will not work now i'm going to give you a method which will make your serial number very easy and here we will be using a row formula so here you will say equal and you will type a row you will open a bracket and close a bracket very simple formula but very effective and very very powerful formula so i say equal row and i press enter so you will get two so you will say ramzan we need it from one so over here what we will do is in the end you will say minus one so equal row minus one and i am pressing enter so you will get the row number one so now i will come on the corner and i will just double click and automatically it will fill now do you want to see the magic now if i come over here and if i delete two rows you need not worry i will say control minus you see as soon as i say control minus this eighth gen will come up right and this six which is of eighth gen will become four you see i'm pressing enter i'm pressing delete so as soon as i deleted you see both the rows has been deleted but it didn't affected your serial number you will find lots of formulas lots of way lots of add-ins to solve this but in excel you have a default formula to solve this so once again i will quickly repeat it for you so the formula is equal and you will say row open a bracket close a bracket so basically row formula gives you the row number right it gave you the two because that is the second row but you say minus one and then you come on the corner you double click and your work is done now even if i delete so many rows control minus it won't affect got it interesting so did you like this point and did you understood the formula friends can you reply me in the chat box if you have understood say yes amazing great lovely lovely very nice thank you everybody so the first formula we have started a session and we have learned in last three minutes we have learned a new formula great let's move little bit more ahead thank you everybody for your comments and reply okay so now i will go to the next interesting trick and this is awesome which i am going to show you so the first one was your almost sales type data and now i'm going on the second one and the sheet name is interactive filter on hr so this is basically a hr data and same thing if you want you can implement on sales data also so let's say you have a data over here and i'm going to the last record okay okay i will speak little bit louder is that okay now so i am going to the last record over here so i have around 1000 records if you will see there are 1000 records in which you have first name last name you have gender nationality and you have department designation and everything let's say you as a hr wants to regularly filter the data but you don't have to only filter the data but with filter 
you also wanted to know the count. So for example, uh, over here, I have a data where people are from different nationality. And I wanted to know there are how many people from Morocco in my company. So what you will do? Some of you will say, Ramzan, we will use a count if formula, correct? You will say count if and Morocco. Some of you will say, Ramzan, we will use a pivot table. So that is also good. You have to create a pivot table. Some will say we will do manually, correct? Some of you will say we will use subtotal formula. So to do one thing in Excel, you have different ways, right? But now I'm going to show you amazing way of doing it in such a way that management just click on a button and they get the reports, everything on a click. How do you do that? Pay attention. Step number one, you will press control T. You will convert your data into table mode. So you see, I'm pressing control T and I am pressing enter. So your data got converted into a table mode. First step, control T. Step number two. Now what you will do is you will insert few rows above. So I selected few rows and you know how do you insert a row? You can say control plus or control shift plus to insert a rows. And now what I'm doing is I'm inserting a buttons which are also known as slicers. So you will go to the insert tab and do you see something over here? That is the slicers. So I click on a slicer over here and in the slicer, I regularly need nationality wise filter. I need department wise filter. I also need gender wise filter. Let's keep it three only or let's say location also. And I say, okay. So you will see four different slicers has come. Now we will arrange it. So I took this and nicely put it over here. I put the nationality over here. I took the department over here and I will take the location over here. Okay. Now, as it is overlapping each other, so I will select all this four slicer by pressing control key, by pressing shift key. And from the bottom, I will make it small. Lovely. Let's make it two columns from here. So I make it two columns. Great. So if you love color, so you can come over here and you can even change the format of it. So it looks beautiful. Amazing. Looking nice. So let's keep it a little bit light color over here. That's all. Okay. So this way you can create different, different slicers. Now I'm going to show you the magic of it. So let's say you are in HR and you wanted to just see all the data of mail, all the mail records over here, gender. So you will just click on this button mail and you see all the mail survey. In mails, you wanted to see all the people in finance. So I click on finance. So in mail, all the people are from finance. Where is my finance column? We will move a little bit on the right hand side where you will have a department. So here you are. This is also one issue solved that you don't have to scroll everywhere here and there. In finance, I wanted to see how many people or which are the records in Dubai. So I click on Dubai and you get this. I click on Sharjah, I got this. I click on Ras Al Khaimah. Oh, there are only two people in finance who are male in this. Okay, let me clear and let me see overall. So overall, there are three people. From that, two are female, one is male. Interesting? your life will become very simple. Instead of again and again going to filter, 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 you just convert your data into the table and add a slicer. Wait, now I'm going to show you more amazing than this. Now over here, you will say, Ramzan, this is fantastic, very nice. But in that one thing is still missing. And what is that? So if I click on Dubai, I get Dubai data. I click on finance, I get finance data. I click on Egyptians, I get Egyptians data. But how I will count where it is written, 
now your data is small so you can understand okay there are four records okay but if you have lots of data then how you will do got it so now i'm going to, to give you a interesting solution for this now i will insert one more row extra over here and i'm going to put over here for example in middle you can say for example total records okay i make it bold and over here i need a answer okay you see how beautifully it will happen so i will say equal and over here you have to write a very simple formula that is a sub total formula so you will say equal and you will say sub total and then what you want okay i wanted to do the count but i will be selecting any alphanumeric column so you have to select count a because count formula counts numbers and count a counts alphanumeric and numbers both so you will take 3 comma and then you will just select the data this column you will select press enter that's all so here you got 1000 so what is this 1000 means there are total 1000 records now you see the magic i click on female so in my company there are 269 female is not this interesting without pivot without count if without anything you are getting the result dynamically in female i mean want to see how many are from india so i click on india so there are 47 female in my company who are from india in that how many are from hr so i click on human resource there are seven female in india from this group okay i click on male so from male there is nothing so again i say clear and i got this so all are female only in that how many people are sitting in charge allocation so there are two sitting in the charge allocation is not this interesting how simple it is if you know the option if you don't know the option and to get this type of result you really have to sometimes struggle and it will be easier for the management so if you present this to the management they will not ask you any other reports just go on clicking now in that you have more detail like over here you have got the count let's say you will say okay ramzan so i need a salary if i click on for example finance so all the finance salary should come how much salary we are giving it to the department finance then you should have a salary column in the end and instead of count in sub total you will take a sum which is on the row number 9 in that you can get the minimum maximum you can say average sales if it is a sales data some of you are in sales so average sales happening in different different cities different different countries of different different products so lots of interesting things can be done so this was a concept of interactive filter this the friends i won't be able to repeat i have seen this people are requesting but uh i won't be able to repeat because it took almost 10 minutes so entire repeating will be very challenging yes i will be sharing the video with you you can see the video and you can uh, then practice or repeat it again so there is another question from saurabh over here how about two locations okay good question saurabh so he is saying okay ramzan i click on dubai so i came to know there are 237 73 people what if i want to select rasul khaima we have a option saurabh you press control key just press control and click on rasul khaima and wow you got 364 so with the help of control key you can add more okay so this way you can select again if you want to clear it you will click on the clear filter and your work is done got it great okay what is 3 does in the formula okay so that is in sub total uh, na let me check what is that 3 3 is count a count a is basically it counts alphanumeric means numbers and 
tax also it counts and count formula 2 it will count only the numbers okay so in a data if you have only numbers then you can use count but in the column if you have one two three four and then some name is there and still you want to count everything then you have to say count a okay that is a difference okay good very nice okay friends so how about this how how was the trick over here did you like this the second one can you reply me on the chat box if you love that point great great thank you so much amazing thanks in thank me heart thank you so much apparently count is very great sir uh, yes monica count is great but count formula counts only the numbers right so we use count a because we have alphanumeric in the column okay thank you everybody thanks for wonderful tea thank you so much great okay friends so this were the two very very important point uh, we have covered okay now i have also given a sales data over here so on this also same thing can be applied okay now we will move to the third point for today okay and i'm going to the filling blanks now this is something very interesting so it's not a this blank huh, that you come over here and you just drag it <laughs> this is not a filling blank okay uh what about row plus one so it will become three nagraj when you say minus one so it is giving you one row behind plus one you are on row number two so if you say plus one it will make three okay that's all okay so now here there is one more very interesting uh trick and a point uh, where people ask lots of question so they say ramzan we have created a pivot we did pay special and everything is done now or they have got this file from somebody now what we want is we wanted to fill these gaps here we need dubai in this from here we need Sharjah, we need abu dhabi in this we need rasal khaima ajman how do we do that okay flash fill <laughs> so here we will be using something different i will come on flash fill here it might uh, use some little bit issue but the control d control d virendra will work but what it will happen you know it will work only for this way virendra control d then you have to select again control d then you have to select control d so this will be a problem but control d can be used so here i am going to show you very different thing so step number one pay attention so I will put my cursor on a total sales. So I say control shift, huh? power query will can do the work here, very good. But uh, power query, many people don't know. So we will do a very simple way like Nagaraj is saying. Uh, so I will say control shift down. And first I will select the data. And after selecting a data, I will say control G. Control G is for go to, correct? Where you want to go. So I click on a spatial and I say go to the blank cells. This is very interesting point. Okay. Okay, Monica. So after this, what? <laughs> you have selected blanks. Now what? Now you will say equal and you will select above. But this is not this will not suffice because if you press enter it will not come you have to press control enter see if i'm pressing enter normal enter you will not get it so what you have to do is equal this dubai and you have to press this way with this control and with this you press enter so we will say control enter and here is the magic happened it got filled everything 
in just few seconds so sometime you have big problems which we think in excel can't be solved or you have to use big big things but actually the solutions is very simple if you know this what about control d after selecting a, a blanks uh, we can surely try that uh, ravindra so i selected and you can press control d no it's not working in my case so you select this and say control enter then only work it's not working virendra control d okay so after selecting a blanks got it everybody so this was a third point uh, wherein you can use a equal formula so tell me everybody the first question to all of you if you have a serial number issues okay and if you wanted to put 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 which formula you will be using which formula you will be using put it in a chat box exact you will type the formula oh yes equal row minus 1 yes shraddha you can even use equal sequence very good sequence formula is also very good but i am not going on to that as of now because i personally use a row formula and it works for me very nicely okay second topic what if i have a sales data and my manager tells me that whenever i click on a button automatically a data should be filtered and i should see total rows total number of records and a sales amount tell me what are the steps that you will follow what will be the first step what will be the first step first step siddhant said control t very good creation of a table very good amazing lots of reply second step is what after inserting table second step is what no no slicer no second step will be insert the rows very good so you will insert the rows that is a second step what will be the third step select few rows and yes third step will be inserting a slicer very good after inserting a slicer what will be the fourth step what will be the fourth step total which formula you will use bhavna yes very good atma sa equal sub total you will type 3 very good comma and you will select the range lovely okay that is count a amazing <coughs> great so you remembered everything ah huh? very good okay now we will come on the next one the third one which we did that is a filling blanks so if i wanted to fill a blanks in between and i have a heading for each of the group so what are the steps that you will do what will be the first step control g ha ah, before control g what select the data great chosen first select the range shraddha then control g go to third step in go to what you will select yes control shift down in go to what you will select blanks good after selecting blanks what you will do alt a to very good control enter that is a main point people forget mostly this so equal and you will select the above cells and you will press control and enter okay lovely so perfectly we have learned three interesting thing in excel now and uh, even you have remembered you have not practiced with me together but i can see you all have replied very nicely and you all are it means understanding the points we have three more very very interesting tricks which i will be showing now but now i would like to ask you few questions friends over here how many of you would like to learn how many of you have heard about the power bi can you put on the yes 
How? Okay. Great. So almost everybody have heard about the Power BI. Great. But not used. Okay. Yes, I've heard. Eager to learn. Okay. Okay, great. So now the, my, the next question is, how many of you want to learn? Okay, you wanted to learn. Okay, you have replied also. Yes, Nagraj, I will give you the practice files. Don't worry. Okay. So if you all are interested, friends, so I will just uh, give you some idea that this slide, which you are seeing, very good. I can see lots of people are interested in Power BI. So friends, just see on the screen over here. These are the sessions which is planned in May. Okay. So the first session of Power BI is tomorrow directly. I know tomorrow is the Eid for me also. And so it will be a very quick session of one and a half hours, wherein I'm going to show you how do you create a beautiful, nice looking interactive dashboard in just one and a half hour. The way you are learning today, same you will learn tomorrow. So even if you have never used Power BI in one and a half hour, you will say, wow, it is super easy. I will make you very comfortable. Okay, you to the Power BI. So one session is tomorrow. That is same time we will be having Great Rajkumar, I'm sharing these details. And if you want to register for that, then you have to use this link, which I will be sharing it on the email with all of you in some time. Yes, Bhavna, Power BI will not work on Mac, but there is a solution. On Mac machine, if you installed VM server, okay, virtual machine, if you install, if you install a virtual machine on a virtual machine, you can install Windows and then on that you can install a Power BI. A little bit lengthy and little bit technical steps. That is a challenging. Uh, will you forward the practice file to our registered email address? Yes, Nagraj. I will forward it on your registered email address. Plus, I will also share on the WhatsApp group. Uh, yes, Bhavna, this will be a very nominal uh, fees uh, for which if you want to join, you can join that. Okay, I will share all the details. Yeah, for Windows. Uh, no, no, no. If you are asking me Power BI, uh, it's free. Okay. Uh, I will share Riyaz all the details on the email and on this we will be sharing. Okay, don't worry. Now, friends, the very, very important thing, I will take two minutes more. The next session, again, we are having Power BI. We are having Power BI, but this will be a five day session. So if you really want to implement Power BI and if you full fledged want to go into the Power BI, then this is the session for you. Wherein from 4th May to 8th May, I will be teaching you live with me, but it will be a very different type of session in which you will not see like we are doing now. In that you will practice with me. I will share the practice files before the session. I will teach you one topic in Power BI and you will also do it with me. After you complete, you say done, then I will go for the next topic. So you will be doing hands-on with me. So it will be a five days, five hour course. And after five days, at the end of five days, you will be able to create dashboard of your company on your own without any other person helps. That will be my guarantee for you that you will learn Power BI. And no, it will not be Rajni uh, Khan that is in Hindi. It will be in English because uh, we have a participants from different, different locations. So like in this session, you have people from Kenya, from Oman, from Kuwait, from Texas, uh, from Dubai, you have lots of from India. So it, it will be a session in English. If I miss one day, we will be recording that session, Siddhant. All the sessions will be recorded. If you miss one, you will be getting the 
recording very next day or same day yes you are from nigeria yes so be happy yes you will also get the completion certificate yes at the sixth day but in power bi you will not get a certificate until and unless you complete a project on the day five i will be giving one sales data sheet and i will be telling you to complete a project build a dashboard and you will submit a dashboard to me and then i will be giving you certificate the certificate will be given to only those who complete power bi project that without that you won't get it then we have also a upcoming session on powerpoint but the date is not fixed then again like today it's happening on 1st may the excel session same way same session but with new tricks not the same it won't be repeated we will have another six tricks on 15th of may so i will share the registration link for that as well and then we will also have another session that will be of 3 hours on 16th may that will be of excel formulas so i know many of you like riyaz and other people have already done that but instead of the five days we have club it in 3 hours all the important things so i will be sharing all this details with you so let's go ahead with our session so the next topic over here is the running total so what is running total everybody running total is basically the addition of previous month like in the month of jan we got a sales of 100 dirhams in the feb we got another 100 dirham sales so in the feb month jan plus feb includes 200 becomes 200 so that is your total yes nagraj you will use some ifs <laughs> agree with you but i am going to show you again in a very simple way that is with the help of pivot table you just click on running and your work becomes easy so very simple i have also used some ifs for this running total but then when i came to know about the pivot so i always do with this see how simple it is everybody first step you will put a cursor here you will go to the insert tab you click on pivot table and uh, you need over here only right so you will say existing worksheet where you need i need it over here and you will click on anywhere here and i say okay done now what you will do everybody now you will take the months put it under the row you take the total put it under the value again you will take a total and put it under the value now those of you who don't know pivot table they might be thinking what ramzan is doing correct because for this you should know the pivot table if you don't know pivot table i will share my another video you can see on that on youtube right but those who know pivot table it's for them and now you just have to right click on this how simple it is you will right click you will say over here show value as and you have lots of options over here and these are amazing option you should explore all this option if you really want to become good in a pivot table so i will come over here and there is a option over here running total do you see this option everybody running total and you just have to say okay <laughs> that's all no need of using any formula nothing now how it is running total let me explain some of you might not be knowing so you see this is 530530 now when you add this both the month you get how much bottom 988 so this is 9 so this 988 is the total of this both the month 153 is the total of all this this 201 is the total of all this four month got it so this way you can create a running total even you can do the percentage also i'm not going into that but you can do the percentage next option is the percentage uh is it in mos 2016 version yes 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 you can do in 16 version also it was there this right click option now 
Whereas it was there in all, all these options are available in 16 also, 16, 19, you can do it, okay? So this was the running total everybody. So this is the fourth point we have covered today. Don't worry, I'm going to share a few more points. And now is the amazing and a new formula. Now, Nagaraj, this point you will not have in MOS 2016. That is Excel 2016. Okay. Yes, Sayyad, I will be sharing it with you, but you missed some of the very important points, but I will be sharing it with you. Don't worry. So now I'm going to show you a very new formula. And this is available only in Excel 2019 and Office 365. What is that? For example, if I tell you that I want to combine all these three, Ramzan, AAA, and Rajan, what you will do? What you will do? So many people will now reply. They will say, Ramzan, we will use, oh my God, Monica, you know this formula, huh? <laughs> Very good, lovely. Yes, Deepak, concatenate. Virendra, control E. Sini, control, concatenate, concatenate. Yes, yes. So many of you know concatenate formula. The only challenge in concatenate, friend, will be it will be like this equal, concatenate, and then you will select this. You will put comma, then you put this, comma this comma space comma this and you press enter right this way you use concatenate right but what if there are more columns you want to combine so there is a very nice formula text join you just have to type equal and you have to say text join now when i type text join do you see there are three questions he's asking you the first is the delimiter means between both the names what you need you need a space you need a hyphen what you need so i say excel in double quotes hey i need a space so i put a space then i put a comma then he's asking me ignore empty cells means if middle name is not there or last name is not there in some of the names then you need extra space or no? I say no, don't put extra space. So ignore empty. So I will type through comma, that's all. And you will just select all these three like this. You don't have to select one one. Just select from all three. Close the bracket. See how small formula it is. Enter, that's all. Now when I double click and your work is done. As we have said, ignore empty, it means if I delete this ABC, a second name, middle name, so you see it won't affect means between Ramzan and Rajan, you don't have two space. You have only one space. If you will not put ignore, then you will get two space. This will also he considered as one extra space. That's why we had written through. Interesting. So this is one of the new formula many of you have learned today. Some of you were knowing and some of many of you were not knowing. So now, but remember this formula is there only in the latest version friends. Okay. Great. Very nice. Lovely. I hope you like this formula also. So this was the fifth point which we have learned. Okay. Okay. Great. Thanks. Thanks, everybody. Very good. Okay. Thanks for your comments. So, yeah, great. Thank you. Very helpful. Yeah. So now I will move a little bit more ahead in this. And then you have a magical change case. Flash fill. Many of you might know this. And I have also taught in many of the session, but this one very interesting formula for those who don't know for them. You have a first name and last name and you wish to combine friends without using a formula. Here is the method. So I will just write and I say, hey, Excel, I need Ramzan space and I need Rajan. So no need of using formula concatenate. No need of using text join. Okay. And you just type the way you need. 
and that's all and you press this shortcut control e you see i'm pressing control e and everything is combined but this is going to create a problem when sometime you have three name four name only one name so you have to train sometime you have to type three name two name so but it, if it is two names only then it works properly okay for three four name also it works properly but then you have to train this flash fill that if there are three name put this way if there is one name put this way so you need to give it a try a little bit and you will learn many thing when i share these files you give it a try by inserting one extra column and then you will come to know where it creates a problem what to do so you will learn and the last point for today is how do you create a dynamic chart so when i say alt f1 you know alt f1 right everybody this is a shortcut for creating a chart so this is a shortcut for creating a chart so my chart got created okay i say right click add a data label done but what if i come over here and if i want to add july and august i put july and i put august over here right but did my data came in july and august no it didn't came so what you will do is you will have to come over here on the corner and you drag it instead of that like deepak is saying ramzan create a table and he is very much correct so what we will do we will hear what deepak is saying i come over here and you will press control t and you press enter your data got converted into the table and now you will create a chart by pressing alt f1 if you forget alt f1 what you will do you have to go to insert and create a table okay i will show you let's say if you forgot alt f1 so you go to the insert table and you click on the table done everybody want to see the magic right click add data label and now if you type over here july and august and if you put this you will get automatically get added f11 key right very good nagraj f11 is also the shortcut but f11 nagraj it will create a chart in a new sheet like see i'm pressing in front of your f11 now huh? see f11 it created a chart but in a new sheet okay and alt f1 will create a chart in a same sheet next to your data that is a difference okay so alt f1 is used most of the time but alt f11 f11 will create it in a new sheet got it everybody so these are the seven interesting point we have covered and you will see now i started at 7:30 it's around 50 minutes and 5 minutes i took in explaining the upcoming course almost we took 45 minutes and in 45 minutes we have learned so many things okay what is alt function f1 ha huh? so what happens bhavna is i am using a keyboard so i press alt f1 okay so it works but if you are using a laptop so sometime in laptop uh this for pressing f1 key you have to press a function key also so that is so you have to press alt and then uh, before the alt you have an fn key function key so you have to press alt function and then f1 so that is the for especially for the laptops if it's not working okay so either you press alt f1 if it's not working then you say alt f1 if both are not working then then you go to the insert tab and you click on the chart with mouse okay that is the option control t is convert to table mode yes gajula oh gajula i remember you i think you were there in one of the session huh? great monica control t create a table yes correct correct agree with you amazing great everybody so i hope you uh, i just want to show the sheet which i created uh for 2 minutes 
uh, Deepak, we can show that because now actually it's a, a live recording is happening. So I will stop this and then uh, you can show me. And uh, on topic six, I want to give range if income like zero to on topic six, zero to 50,000 and so on. Uh, yes, Nira, that can also be done. That can be done with the if condition, which hopefully we will take it in the upcoming sessions. Okay. Control T is a better way to extend the selection. Yes, yes, Nagraj, you uh, took it very correctly. Actually, Control T is for extending. Okay. Yes, that is with the help of uh, multiple ifs we can do it. Okay. Now I don't have that much time. Record session, Samir, we will share it with you. Okay. So don't worry, we will share it with everybody. The links I have got private messages now that share the Power BI link. So I will share it all of you. Uh, don't worry, friends. Okay. We will share it with all of you. So now uh, I will stop the session, friends, and we will have a normal discussion. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Okay.